All right, guys, we've got the trailer. We're headed to Bucky's, and then we're off to Florida to pick up a surprise. So we're at Bucky's, and look at the chaos that is this place. It's insane, and we're trying to pull a 22-foot car trailer, car hauler here. Look at that. There's over a hundred gas pumps here and every single one of them is full and there are cars waiting behind other cars to get in the gas pumps. It is insane. We're trying to get the truck and the trailer behind the building because there's some uh, better parking back there because we are not leaving without a brisket sandwich. And pecan, candied pecans. That's my favorite thing here, honestly. I've done so many videos recently where Bucky's involved. I feel like um, a I'm here. Yeah, oh, a sponsorship for sure. It was a big part of our jet ski trip. All right. Oh, oh, look at these. These just, just mm, so many cuss words for what's happening right now. All right. So if you do go to Bucky's, this is what you go for. That's the brisket sandwich. And it is, not joking, one of, if not, the best brisket sandwiches I've ever eaten. But look at this place is chaos. It's just a zoo in there. I was gonna film some inside, but there were just too many people. Like, I'm not exaggerating, 200, 250 people in there? I was just told that my estimate of 250 people was way low. And that there were probably thousands of people legitimately in that gas station. That's true, because it's a big gas station. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there were tons of people. That, let's just put it that way. All right, the Bucky's debacle is over. Kind of disappointed in Bucky's this time. Uh, they were out of a ton of stuff. They even didn't, they didn't even have lids for the drinks. Like, come on. Um, and you know I'm a Bucky's enthusiast, so it is what it is. We're headed down to Florida specifically the south tip of Florida to pick up, I don't know if I'm gonna call it a project car. They're kind of all project cars. It's a project car. It's fine, there's nothing wrong with it. It runs, it drives, um, but I'm not gonna tell y'all what it is yet. I'm super excited. Um, I don't know what else to really say about it. It's kind of, it's definitely a bucket list car. It's definitely a bucket list item and uh, you know, we're just, we're, I don't know, six hours left of the drive to get down there. Once we get down there, I might show y'all a little bit, maybe give you a sneak peek of something, but uh, we'll go from there. Kind of uneventful so far, there's some idiots on the road. Traffic's horrible because it's the weekend after Thanksgiving and everybody's going back down to Florida from Georgia or wherever they came from. So it is really busy, but uh, yeah, we'll be there six hours and we'll let you know. Look at this garbage. What did this truck say? Transport Company. It is an avalanche on like 22s. And he has one strap pulling the car towards the opening of the middle of the trailer. Good God. Everybody, it is 11 o'clock at night. We are still driving. We left around one o'clock. We've done all kinds of things as far as lunch and dinner and trying to walk through a Taco Bell drive through which they wouldn't serve us. Losers. Um, settled for a wonderful steak and shake dinner. So we're about two hours out. Um, I'll show you trailer on the camera there. How cool is that? The F-250 has the big screen in it. So, um, yeah, we're going to just, from here, we're heading to the hotel. The dealership opens up at nine o'clock tomorrow and I'll show you the new edition, which I am so excited about. All right, it is Monday morning. We're heading uh, over to the dealership. We got checked out of the hotel, had a breakfast. Oh no, we're going to Harbor Freight first. <laughs> Not the dealership, Harbor Freight. We got to get uh, moving blankets just in case there's stuff that we got to lay out or wrap up and then we will be there we are at the dealership 
Lots of Lamborghinis. And a Bronco. And a Bronco. And a Maserati. Bentley's. Oh, I see it. Oh, I see it too. Oh my God. Classic Bronco. <clears throat> New Bronco. All right, we're here. We are at Lamborghini Palm Beach. All right, guys, here it is. I bought a race car. <laughs> Lamborghini Super Trofeo full race trim and it is coming home so let me go ahead get in it crank it up pull it around to the trailer we're going to try to load it up but as you can see it's literally three fingers off the ground we'll see how it goes into this trailer that was nerve-wracking first time i've ever driven it by the way getting it on trailer not fun look at the clearances let me let me switch it over and show you the clearances on the that my lord i am <laughs> the level of excitement you you just you just you just have you can't you just you don't even you can't fathom it you just don't even know let me get uh, look at that that is my new race car. Whew, all right. Let's load it up. We'll get back in the truck here in a minute. Back at Bucky's. Let's see if I can open this one handed. Back at Bucky's. This Bucky's. We are I'm here all the time for some reason. Check out the inside the trailer. I still can't even believe it. It's not even real. It's not even real to me. Like that is a Lamborghini race car. And it gets to come home with me and live with me in my garage. I've ordered so many things for it already. That'll be a whole separate video. Yeah, I'm, I'm, it's not real yet. It needs to be in my garage, but That's a long day. I'm exhausted. But I'm in my garage at my house. And I have a Super Trofeo in my garage. Meaning that's my car. That's like, that is the race car of Italian supercars. That's the bull. That is, that is the one. I've already ordered a ton of stuff. Um, this is going to be a build car. I am waiting on the torque converter for the Humvee. As soon as it comes out, I'm gonna put that back together. Still working on that. Don't worry, this will not replace the Humvee. This is just gonna to add to the channel. And um, I'm gonna take this wrap off. We're gonna get it done proper. I've already ordered uh, tires. We're gonna get the wheels um, cleaned up and painted or powder coated. 
there's just a lot going on here. So look at this thing. I mean, can we appreciate it? Thank you to Lamborghini Palm Beach for getting me this car, being patient with me to make sure I could title it and do the things I need to do with it to make it uh, street legal, which may surprise some of you, but that's happening. This is gonna be a street car. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to bed guys, I'm worn out, but thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe because this thing's gonna get, this one's gonna get crazy. Good night.